<laughs> you're not ugly you're stressed but for real we need to talk about cortisol what it is what it does to our body what can happen if we have too much or too little and what can help if we have too much or too little cortisol in simple terms is just a hormone that helps our body respond to stress and it is vital for us to just go about our day to day it has tons of functions such as regulating our blood pressure our blood sugar your immune function controls your sleep wake cycle and dictates your fight or flight response among other things it's totally normal to have your cortisol fluctuating throughout the day and it's necessary for normal function however when our cortisol levels are too high or too low for prolonged periods of time that's when it can start having an effect on our bodies a couple of symptoms could be moon phase your stretch marks go crazy your mood is all over the place your sleep cycle is whack your menstrual cycle is off all sorts of things it just wreaks havoc on your body there are many things you can do to help regulate your cortisol levels um the first one would probably remove yourself from a stressful environment but that's not always possible so one of my favorite things to use is an adaptogen and adaptogens are herbs and roots that have been used for thousands of years in ancient practices to help regulate cortisol levels there are plenty of adaptogens. My personal favorite is ashwagandha. And if you're going to get ashwagandha, you need to get KSM 66 ashwagandha as it is the most potent and effective form. I tried a number of different ones, but my personal favorite are these ones by Goalie. They have that KSM 66 ashwagandha in them and they're in gummy form. So they're really enjoyable to take, make it easy for me to remember. And it has made a huge difference for me. I have it linked right here for you. I think they're on flash sale right now. So you can get it as low as $10 a bottle and the shipping was free when I got mine. Let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully that made it clear. And I'm sorry I called you ugly. I did not.